Good morning everyone, Pentu here today for a new video in which we are gonna try to react and actually analyze the new trailer that just dropped on World of Tank Blitz official channel because I can tell you it's bringing us a lot of features. Uh, the mods actually worked really really hard for this update that's probably why it got delayed by two months now because I think we're gonna see it uh, the 15th of October maybe a little bit less maybe uh, before maybe the 7th we don't know all we know is that it's in October and it's bringing us a lot of features so we're gonna do it like that. First we watch the trailer and after we watch it back with some poses in order for me to to explain to you what is happening. Alright guys, so the first thing to talk about from left to right is probably the new Halloween tank. Here it is, Wargaming finally announced it and I'm really excited, I mean, just look at this tank, it really looks typical. I truly think it's gonna have an original playstyle and if my guesses are correct, as it seems to be an American tank, you can see the flag on the left, no, right side, sorry, of the tank, it looks like a T-57 Heavy at tier 7. We all know Halloween tanks are tier 7, uh, Wargaming used us to that with the Dracula, the Smasher, uh, the Grave Digger, all these tanks came in by being tier 7, so this one is probably going to be a tier 7 as well. For the hull, it looks pretty similar to the T-57 Heavy as well, really rounded, so I'm not expecting this tank to have a lot of armor, but a deadly gun. And if that's the case, that would be amazing to see a, a tier 7 looking like a T-57 Heavy in terms of playstyle, but also design, because I don't know what you think about it, but the design is overall really cool. Now for the middle panel, nothing really exciting, I mean, yes, it's exciting, but we already talked about on the channel on the 7.3 preview video, we have the Krandagon with both its legendary camouflages, the one that looks like a monster and the one that is literally the Swedish flag. And for the last one, it looks like a VK-2801 remastered. Uh, I thought at first that it was an attachment, but it's a brand new tank. But I'm going to let you go further into the uh, video in order for me to tell you what this tank is all about. <laughs> Of course, for the 7.3 update, the Krenwagen, ML2, ML1, all the branch of Swedish tanks were uh, supposed to be there, and Warming confirms it, it's gonna be in the 7.3 update. Nothing to be really excited about, as we already had this news for ages, but I just want to remind you, for those of you who are living in a cave... <laughs> Alright guys, here you can see the Emil 1951, it's not the Emil 1, which is the Tech 3 tank, here we are talking about a tier 8 premium version of the auto reloaders, uh, the Swedish ones that are coming, it's the Emil 1951, we already talked about it on the channel, definitely a tank to look forward after because it seems to be an amazing one. And it seems like it's coming with a legendary camouflage, as you can see right there. I could have taken the previous shot from the video where we could see it a little bit better on the top of the turret, but we will have to wait for it to be implemented in order for us to know a little bit more about the name of the camouflage. I want to remind you one last thing about this 
tank the fact that it should have an auto loader and not an auto reloader as we were expecting because the ML1 has an auto loader as well. Alright guys, so here you go, the new event. It seems to be post-apocalyptic, so I'm expecting it to be the Halloween event, or at least it will serve as based for the Halloween event, judging by the logo. The name of this event is Pyroleum. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, I'm sorry if it's not the case. Uh, ju judging by the post-apocalyptic look, it really fits with the T57 Heavy Tier 7 lookalike tank and therefore I'm expecting a return of Mad Games. Because if you remember, last time we had a post-apocalyptic lookalike event, we had the Smasher in the shop. So is this new Tier 7 gonna be for Halloween as a main reward or you will have to spend money to get it. My guess is on the money. You will have to spend, I don't know how much, maybe if it's tier seven and Wargaming keeps their weight, it's gonna be around 20, 25 euros to get the tank. So if we sum up, we will have a new tier seven for money, plus mad games available. One last thing concerning the event, as you can see, we have some legendary crates available. Are they gonna be for us to unlock maybe for free a Dracula or an Elsing? If you're lucky, of course, because you're not gonna get 100% guaranteed tanks if you manage to complete the event, especially if it's a Dracula or an Elsing. But I think Wargaming is gonna give out some crates in order for us to get some chances to unlock Dracula, Elsing, Gravedigger, and maybe Smasha in these crates. Also, as we have a lot of stages for this event, I'm expecting it to either last long or be an easy one. I don't think we're gonna struggle that much with this event. I might be wrong here, it's just expectations. But you know, when Wargaming does a lot of stages for an event and you have to grind through them, it's usually easy steps to go through. Here, guys, you're seeing an STRV M-42 on the profile but it seems to have a legendary camo. Uh, we know Wargaming doesn't really like to put legendary camo on tier 5s, I mean, except the KV-1, I don't think there are that much legendary camo at tier 5. So my guess is it's not an STRV M42. It looks like one, but it's not one. To me, this tank is probably gonna be a collectible available in the previous event we just talked about. Because if Wargaming wants to give us a free tank and it's a tier 5, they know it's not gonna break the matchmaking, it's not a tank people are gonna spam over and over, and it will be in correlation with the nightmare that we had access to from the previous mad game event when we had also uh, the, the possibility of unlocking the Lycan. So there are two questions to ask, is it an STRV M42 and therefore it's just a regular legendary camouflage, or is it a premium or collectible version of the STRV M42, and if that's the case, how is it going to be available, and is it going to be a simple copy paste of the already existing Tech Tree tank? <laughs> Mad Games confirmed. It's the mad game maps, so we're not gonna see uprising, we are not gonna see realistic battles, we are not gonna see 5 versus 5 in the 7.3 update, it's mad games. This uh, show of the mad game maps proves it, there is no doubt we have mad games coming back to the game in the 7.3 update. It seems like we can answer quite fast to the question I asked myself 30 seconds ago talking about the STRV M42. Judging by the look with the spike, etc. on the turret, it's gonna be a brand new collectible tier 5. So it's a complete different tank from the Tech Tree one and it's good, very good. I'm happy that Wargaming does this. So yeah, you have, you had, sorry, Nightmare, now you have uh, Nightmare 2, let's, let's call it like that, because we don't know the name yet of this tank. <laughs> Guys, we know a little bit more about the new Tier 7, and it's really important for you to understand that. This tank, if you hear with the sound, the video, it goes pump, pump, pump. Three shots in less than one second. In my opinion, it means that the playstyle, or at least the gun mechanism, is quite similar to the one we already have on the L-Sync. 
For those of you owning an L-Sync, you know that in your HUV it looks like it's an auto loader, but in fact, when you're using the tank, you just have to click one to see your two shells going out of the tank. Because the L-Sync is not really an auto loader, it looks like one, but it's not one. And I'm expecting the same mechanism to be applied to this tank, but instead of having two shots, you will have three, which is amazing. A good thing is that we can expect this tank to actually have a really good reload time. Why? Because if you shoot all your three shells at once, you are not a real autoloader and autoloader have a huge reload time. So here it's going to be basically a regular reload, which is something amazing. But there are also cons with this gun, probably the accuracy. Why? Because when you're fully uh, aiming, your first shell will go through, guaranteed. But the two other shells, as your gun dispersion is totally out of control, as every time you fire, it resets. It means you will do well close range, but I'm not expecting the tank to be the best sniper in the history of World of Tank Blitz. Now, to finish with this tier 7 heavy tank, something really cool about it, probably the burst animations when you're shooting all your three shells. Just look at that. It looks like a minigun and it really gives it this special and original touch that makes me want to play it. All right, guys, here it is. The new Battle Pass, Secret Agent. So probably a Battle Pass uh, that is about maybe counter-spying or something like that. I don't know, but we have a new Battle Pass and just for that, I'm happy. All right, guys, if you use an editing software and you go back in time from the fraction of second you just saw and you do it frame by frame, you will fall on this picture. VK2801 collectible tank confirmed. It's not going to be the same one. I can't read the name of the tank from here. I'm sorry, but the name is not something we have to care about. We don't care. Uh, even if it's called a, a unicorn, I don't care. I'll get this tank. But at least you know that the main reward of the battle pass is this premium version of the VK2801. And I'm really happy that Wargaming does that because if you check, if you take a look at all the battle pass they implemented. They always put a tier 6 collectible and a popular one, or at least a tank based on a popular tank. We had the KV-1S, the Thunder for the KV-1S, the Eraser for the ARL, and now we have this one for the VK-2801. So the main reward of the new battle pass is going to be a tier 6 collectible German tank. Now, is it going to be good or not? All I know is that it's going to be different from the previous VK2801. It's not going to be a copy pass, simply because that's what Wargaming is doing with all the tanks based on a Tekri tank in the Battle Pass. Judging also by the small pixel above the VK2801 reward, you will be able to unlock it at the stage 35 of the Battle Pass. <laughs> For the most curious out there, we will have also a new background profile image and also a new avatar that you can see uh, on screen right now. Even if I don't have the best definition because when you zoom on something that goes that fast, you don't have the best quality ever in terms of picture. So for the most curious out there, here you go. You have to take a look at this. Also, one last thing the new battle pass will have 80 stages, same as the one with the eraser. There you go, guys. You can see the VK2801, the collectible version from the battle pass. That's going to be the main reward. That's the tank you're going to have to unlock. And I really love the fact that Wargaming keeps it with the new attachment that looks really cool on these tanks. For the last thing also, as you can see, we have the AMX40 coming back into the game for the update and especially the battle pass. It's gonna be the main reward. I think you will be able to unlock it if you buy the battle pass only. It should be a premium uh, for the premium battle pass. So yeah, here you go. For those of you who want to get an AMX40 for free, uh, not really for free because you'll have to pay for it, but it's gonna be available once again. All right, guys, I think we talked about everything there was to see in this little uh, trailer World of Tank Blitz official channel came up with. 
If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. If you saw something else, feel free to tell me in the comments. And don't worry, I will uh, redeem the news one by one every time they come into the game. So stay tuned by subscribing to the channel. My name is Pentouf, I hope you enjoyed, and I'm going to see you soon for a new video.